What's up YouTube, Kyra back up in here with another video and today we have a long awaited luxury pickups video. I haven't done one of these in a couple of months now. This is definitely going to be my craziest video, probably some of the most coveted pieces I've ever acquired in my collection of clothing has been acquired for this video. So it's gonna be a very exciting one. Some true gems are gonna be in this video. And yes, if I am titling this correctly, cause I gotta make sure you guys click on the video. No, this is not cap. What you see on the title is correct for MSRP, okay? Your boy is not crazy. He's not dropping that kind of money on Garms, but he is a smart shopper. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I picked up. But before I get into that, I definitely wanna show you guys the first item from a well-loved site that's supports this channel oh so well is Farfetch. So I just wanted to thank Farfetch for sponsoring today's video. Huge shout out to them. They always are looking out and supporting the channel. So I am just so grateful for partnering with them every single chance that I get. So if you guys are unfamiliar about Farfetch, Farfetch basically acts as the middleman between you and a multitude of other smaller boutiques across the world. Basically they do this to act as, uh, they use all of their inventory as their own inventory. That makes them one of the largest web websites for luxury items and any type of shopping that you could think of. So they'll have a lot more in stock than a lot of other places because of this method. And it just allows you to really shop, shop with confidence because you know that they're probably gonna have your size and have items that are normally sold out in a lot of other places. So it's just one of my favorite places to shop. Definitely check them out if you haven't already. They're also very sustainable. Um, they have like a lot of eco-friendly brands on there as well. They have sustainable options by by the fact like you could shop secondhand items on the site as well. There's just a lot of great pros about Farfetch. So if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check it out below. And you know, I got a cheeky little discount code for you guys. So just keep on watching. I'm gonna show you guys what I actually got from Farfetch and, and, and let you guys know about the discount code. I'm, I'm gonna hook you up, don't worry. So here we have the item that I got from Farfetch. So as you guys can see, this is from Griff or Grife. I just want to make sure that I'm pronouncing it correctly. So excuse me if I am mispronouncing it. If any of you guys are from Italy and know how this was pronounced, this is supposed to be pronounced, definitely let me know. But on the topic of that, how I was saying before, how they source their inventory from the world's inventory, basically, this came from this smaller shop, which is out in Italy, but it was on Farfetch. So basically, like I said before, middleman tactics, it's in my hands now, but thank you to that small shop. So it actually kind of lets you shop up with like some care because you're actually supporting the economy of like a lot of other places around the world where maybe some of these places don't get the same foot traffic or business that they normally would, but thanks to Farfetch, they're able to thrive and prosper. So we got that tissue on the side and you guys see little dark shadow moment. You guys know I love me some Rick Owens. So I'm gonna crack into this right here. I've never actually gotten anything fresh out of one of these bags. Like this is literally looks like what you would get it out of the wholesale. So bag off. And then now we have a pair of the Creech cargo sweatpants. This pair of pants, well, not this exact pair of pants, but the Creech, just the Creech cargos in general were always a pair of pants that were like a piece that I would see in fashion from very young. I could remember like being like in 20, like 2012, 2013, seeing these pants or like just this model of pant around and just falling in love with it. Never thought I would own it ever because I always saw the leg openings being very slim and not really true to my style, but they just released this iteration with the creech detailing on a sweatpant. You guys know my Rick sweatpants are some of my favorite pants in my wardrobe for comfort and they're wide. So that is a winner to me. I love this pant. Definitely gonna be wearing it a ton this spring summer and I got them in a size medium so that they fit like a 32 which is what I be wearing. And you got all the tags. You got the Rick Owens tag, well, Dark Shadow tag right there. Dark Shadow tag. Got another one right here. In case you guys were trying to look, those are the, that's the details of the Creech Cargos. And then you got the Farfetch tag right there as well. So beautiful pair of pants. They're gonna look great on feet. I already know they're gonna like drape over the shoe. Oh, so gracefully as I always say, I'm just gonna have a lot of fun with them. I get already told. So it's about that time of the video. So that you guys can get a smart little discount code 
You can use my code FF10 Chiron, which is gonna give you 10% off of your order. All of the terms and conditions could be found below as to how you can actually apply that onto some orders because it doesn't work on every single one, but it is gonna last for a very long time and take advantage, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people don't, you don't really get 10% off all the time. Sales season is ending right now too. So if there's something that just dropped and you wanna get that extra little disc key on it, now's your chance. So go take advantage of that. Love me some Rick Owens. I hope you guys do too. And any other brands that you guys fancy, you could check out on Farfetch. So huge shout out to them once again, really appreciate them. And let's get into all of these pickups because this is crazy, bro. 25 bands? It's gonna get it's gonna get wild in here. It only gets it only gets hotter. Every single piece just goes like you'll see. Did I stutter? I told you. I'm not playing no games. So got this pair of oh, a little, little garm. I'm not I already opened this. Whoa. Already opened this up a while back. As you could tell, I have these strings and they're collecting some dust, as you could see on camera. But we got this box from Louis Vuitton. If you guys don't know, your boy past 100k a long time ago and then this was kind of like a little treat to myself that i got so this is from a while back this is like september when i got these and i haven't touched them because i've been wanting to save them for this video so they were kind enough to write that on there and i got these trousers let me close up let me close up the box if it wants to close so here we have these black flared trousers from louis vuitton i just love the weight of these the material is oh so delicate, but at the same time, very uh, rigid because like it just feels very luxurious to the touch, but at the same time, the weight and the finish just makes it feel so beautiful at the end of the day, you know? So it has this flair, but also it has a little leg opening, so it puddles over shoes very nicely. Also has this cool little pocket detail in the back with a zipper, so you can just pull that down and then you can easily put your phone if it's like a, a larger iPhone um like the maxes and all of that and then yeah so these are just the classic flared trouser i believe this is virgil era like some of the last stuff that he made but like this was like a staple in a lot of the louis collections from when virgil was around so just beautiful piece really excited to have it in my collection and still got the tags on i gotta pop those soon but yeah really really beautiful pair of pants uh in terms of sizing i went for a 42 and i am a 32 in us sizing here's some more details for you guys if you guys are looking for that and yeah that's about it i'm excited to really bust these out. i literally only pulled them out the day that I got them in and then I tucked them away for this video. You guys know how I go. I'm very loyal to my YouTube videos, okay? Like I don't play with that. Yeah, really exciting. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to wear those this spring. That's gonna be really sick. Very good tailored looks that could surround around that. Nice pair of boots, flared pant, elegant vibes. Nice little, shh. growing, we're growing, you know, we're growing. Now this also something I got from a while back. I believe you guys saw when I got my Arcteryx pickups around mid winter i want to say i got the two insulated jackets from an event that arcteryx did where there was like a cheeky little discount and they just invited megs and i and we were able to see the collection at the time at the same time i was actually checking out some valence stuff but to me valence is like a step up of a a step up of arcteryx which it's known to be so it only felt right to put it onto this side of video which is more like the luxury designer all type beat so i wanted to save it for this show you guys what i got from there and just started off very plain and then also show you something that i'm i'm happy that arcteryx is doing stuff like this now but yeah this this is just something that i tend to wear all the time in the winter and you'll always see me in something like this megs included uh is, we just found like a wardrobe staple that just really works for us which is tight black long sleeves in the winter this is like a essential for us we just try to find some of the best fitting ones in terms of material cut their finishings everything Thing is just like very very important and i definitely found that with this because arcteryx is known to be very technical with their approach on just like fabrication so like that has that really interesting cut on the front these raglan cuts on the back but then in the front 
it kind of goes regular, which is really interesting. Just like small details like that, that are just very intricate. And it's also very light to the touch, but will also keep you warm. There's just a bunch of winning around with this. It is on the pricier side, like 200 bucks for this is pretty steep, but with that discount, it really did help a lot. So huge shout out to the Arcteryx family. I really appreciate it. So these, I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see these on camera, but I'm so excited for the try on clips because you guys need to see how these pants thrive, man. They've been so slept on like it's it's a terrible how slept on these pants are and i haven't even worn them because i've been saving them for this video but i've used them for styling shoots and stuff already i just feel guilty wearing stuff before showing them in videos i don't know why like i try my best not to these are a pair of women's wear valence trousers and this is like the first time in a long time correct me if i'm wrong that i've seen arcteryx do wide cut pants like this just very contemporary very much in the breadth of what fashion is right now it's just very like formal on the top looks very nice but when you creep to the bottom it's just very tech even the the hue of the fabric is and the actual makeup of it i believe it's like a wool blend kind of reminds you of a snow plant but it doesn't give you that swishy effect too too much it's just very light i think this is a good spring pant good transitional season piece and the back pockets are just really cool too like the way they cut out but yeah excited to wear these moving into the spring hopefully when like some of the salt goes away i'll be able to wear these because they're definitely gonna drag because they're huge this is gonna be a very fun piece to style moving into the spring so let's keep it cooking now talking about how i like i tried to save pieces for you guys for videos this is something i couldn't wait okay this is one of the pieces that i was unfortunately not able to get for a discounted price and it still pains me to this day you know what sometimes you gotta bite the bullet and you can't just like be a princess about everything and this is something that i was not a princess about because these cost me a grip and i'm gonna wear them for the rest of my life because they did they did cost me a grip but these are the rick owens geth leather pants if you guys were wondering why i haven't showed it in the video for so long this is why because i was saving it up for this my babies i'm so excited to have these now they just they're like the perfect fitting leather pant to me it was either the chrome hearts leather pants or these and i find these fit a lot better in my opinion just the cut is a lot more flattering to me the way my body is and then also the chrome pants is just like, ew. it's kind of in the same price range if you count retail or whatever but yeah maybe the crosses was just gonna be a bit too much for me and like this is a lot more wearable more in my i think it's, it's just more me it makes more sense but yeah maybe down the line once i'm, I'm having it like that i could have both in my collection but this will do plenty for now the leg opening is just huge falls over so many boots and sneakers perfectly i wore these once to a concert and and that was it and like i, I just packed them up i was like you know what it's way too salty it's gonna mess up the leather so i'm gonna wear these more spring fall transitional seasons as i always say but yeah that leather like come on guys like beautiful like beautiful beautiful pair of pants my babies i love these to death they're so sick can't wait to like really really get into these these are gonna be fun to style Another piece I was wearing a little bit because I was too excited. This was something that Fernando actually sniped for me. He was on Grailed as he always does. You guys know Fernando, Unsound Rags King, Silver League God. And he saw this and he spotted it and he's like, yo, it's from Rick Owens Fall Winter 04, Queen, that's the collection. And he's like, yo, this screams you. Like a powdery yellow knit beanie. He knows I'm from Canada. It gets cold out here. He was right. Has a lot like a, a longer profile, which I enjoy as well. I hate like shorter caps because I have a lot of hair clearly. And you know what was funny? It's like, I, I, I ended up knowing the seller on Grilled as well, which is Kendricky. So shout out to Kendricky as well. Amazing style. Incredible style like so so dope and i didn't even know he had this because i'm not a very big grailed guy if you guys didn't know that like i i think i've bought three things off of grailed in my entire life and well actually four now and two of them are in this video so there there you have it uh i'm just a very big in-person shopping type of guy like i want to be able to try it on i very rarely buy things online unless it's like oh my god i need to have that uh in terms of grailed so yeah that's that's what this is fall winter 04 queen let's show you guys the tag so see that old rick owens tag it's really cool all went to for queen and then you see the rick really sick yeah i don't have any old rick owens so this is really really cool to see and have so i approve 
a next one this kind of propelled me into my my grailed boy era my archive boy era just because there are certain opportunities that led up for me to like get some pieces that are not available at retail or like more current day fashion these are some things that came out in the past and i'm now revisiting just because i feel like i'm getting to a place where my wardrobe where i don't want to just keep on keeping up i want to revisit some things that i used to love in the past and see if those incorporate in my modern style in in present time so that's what i've been doing whenever i get uninspired i go and like look for older items that i've always been interested in and these were definitely one of them this is a pair of eddie slama dior era yellow denim pants and if you guys don't know eddie slamane is like notoriously known for his denim at dior just because it was just like so renowned and people just rave about it you guys could see like a lot of your favorite celebrities in this denim specifically travis scott he likes to wear these a lot and he actually ended up sourcing a lot of pairs through who i got these from which is rd archive and then also lee fernando has sold to trav a few times so i don't know if he sold them any of these pants but i know romel kind of specializes in these something that he likes to collect and sell it's like the honeycombing behind the leg is just really nice it's like a light powdery variant of yellow it's kind of hard to see in the studio lighting that we have here as it kind of like overexposes it unfortunately but a very very nice pair of pants i can't wait to wear these with like some boots nice little pair of weedies would be nice with this and just like a, a plain white tee very cool summer fit this is like a nice little like sip a little wine chill have some sunglasses see the sunset enjoy the vibes you know this is a nice happy carefree type of pet cool fashiony purchase the more I'm going in like what I like to call inventory now, because with the amount of pieces that come and go in the closet, guys, it's literally like insane. Like the studio got some like archive pieces, like the, the actual bedroom got some pieces now. Like it's just like when I stash pieces for a video, I'm always like flabbergasted by like, oh shit, I forgot about that. Cause I, I really do be forgetting sometimes cause I'm, I don't touch the pieces at all until the video is ready to go. Or well, I feel like it's, it's ready or it's to that point. And this is one of them, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is a hoodie that I got like even before I went to New York back in like September, October. No, no, no. That was November, I want to say. But yeah, this is a chrome hard zip up hoodie. I've always wanted one of these, more so the vintage ones, but then I had a chance to get one of these for a very fair price. And I was like, why don't I just do that myself? I can literally just throw this in the dryer and just see how it ages and patinas over time because personally i really don't like when it's like this i find it kind of corny and i get why a lot of people don't get the hype for chrome hearts clothing because this was always supposed to be like the billboard for the brand if you guys don't know what they're really known for is their furniture their jewelry all of their like really crazy stuff and that's what i first bought into like the first thing that i bought was this necklace like the pave like the pave cross pendant and that's that's like where my love for the brand stems from this is cool just because like i'm a sucker for zip hoodies and i think once it gets that vintage patina it'll be a cool piece to have in like a couple of years i i like seeing the potential of the wear and tear of an item and this is definitely something that i could see like that also the fact that it's like a double layered waffle hoodie pretty sick because like in in montreal you definitely be needing that this is a good piece to wear in between between seasons because sometimes you don't want to wear a jacket but sometimes a hoodie's not enough that's where these type of things come into play so very dope grilled boy era kai has entered the chat and this is another example of like i don't shop on grill too much this is the second one by the way the second piece by grill i don't shop on grill too often but when i see something that i've been looking at like from time i i was in a position to like bite the bullet this time around and i was like you know what i'm glad i did and this it was actually a hoodie that I've always wanted. You guys are like, Kyron, that is a black zip hoodie. Are you smoking dust right now? But no, I'm not because I've wanted this hoodie since 2017. And there's actually two versions. There's the pullover one that has like a little target in the front. That was an exclusive and that was the first one I actually really wanted. But honestly, it could have been either way. It was either this one or that one. And I ended up going with this one because zip hoodies are more my cup of tea and i saw me wearing this a lot more into my older age and this is the 11 inch gun club hoodie by vet mod this is demna era of course because it's 2017 and yep your boy got his first vet mod piece 
this was a brand that really had me in a chokehold because like back in 2017 your boy wasn't having it like that like i was not like i was i wasn't getting the pieces that i'm getting now and a lot of the stuff that i used to look up to and admire was just out of reach and out of touch so now with the help of grail and stuff like i go and, and touch back to my roots and find things that i used to like be like damn like i missed out on that so this is definitely one of those can't wait to like body the hell out of this in the spring and summer like this is gonna be my go-to zip hoodie this and the other glancy one that i was wearing last spring summer yeah 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 yeah, I have a rotation now. Your boy got a rotation now. Yeah. <laughs> so this section of the pickups is going to be Rapper Kai, okay? This is going to be Rapper Kai. Rapper Kai is an interesting character. He 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 came up recently, you know? He he is definitely crazy. He He's like, he, he'd be putting that on, but at the same time, he wasn't always putting that on. He wasn't always in tune with these brands or messed with these brands at all. But now he's come to appreciate the beauty in rapper fashion. And that's what this is right now so there's a couple brands that are worn by rappers the long Vans of the world the gallery depths of the world dior etc you guys are getting what i'm trying to say amiri as well you get what i'm saying but what i've come to see and and realize for myself is that there is actually like a very key beauty in rapper fashion if rapper fashion never happened in like the 2000s then we wouldn't be wearing all the things we're wearing right now so like that's kind of what y2k is a lot of people think y2k they think like some other things whatever i'm gonna link some videos in the description below where you guys can like kind of see what i'm talking about if you guys want me to dive a little bit deeper as to why i'm starting to appreciate rapper fashion then i'll definitely link some videos that i've seen below and then also maybe talk about it if you guys are interested in that let me know comment it below anyway i'm gonna dive into rapper kai fits right now <laughs> first one you guys can clearly see a pattern zip hoodies once again so by the thanks of ariel huge shout out to the boy over in new york he's just like a, a saint of a man and he really hooked it up with these last two pieces for the boy uh we just got like in tune through youtube and everything like that he's a content creator himself and then he came to montreal we ended up linking up went to essence he actually vlogged it so if you guys want to check that out i'll link that in the description box below or put a little card on the screen if i'm not lazy i'll i'll definitely try and put that on the screen but yeah he was kind enough to look out for me with this release just because i always liked this hoodie i'm a very big zip hoodie guy and i've always appreciated gallery depth for what it was you guys know i've like done the alternative videos and i've had the flare sweats in the past like i do mess with some gallery depth but this collab was dope because it's like literally it, it, it feels very me it's like high-end streetwear had a baby this you know what i mean so really really cool i like how it has the wear and tear it feels like a vintage hoodie you could see like the sun fading the natural sun fading that they try to emulate on this there's like some painting paint marks on there as i showed before the lava embroidery on the back and this front hit depth de la galerie and what else is there some more distressing on the front you guys know the vibes of this oh they also have this like small little lava pull tab so yeah really really cool they have the double branding on the inside right there too but yeah i like this hoodie a lot super great price as well can't complain so yeah it was it was a done deal it was like no brainer this one on the other hand i got it just because same thing as the last one it was just a very fair price but when i got it in hand i was like ah oh, there was no pockets and i didn't realize am i an idiot so i got my, i had my fun with this but in reality of things like i don't think it's gonna stay in my wardrobe for forever because one it's just very it's very very rapper kai like this is like a, maybe a bit too much but i did have my fun with it it was fun to style and do in my own way for a bit very colorful at the front here very brand heavy in the front as well um which i'm not always on but i tried i tried my best to do my thing with this also have the depth de la galerie in the back and yeah this was cool if it had a pocket it would be so much harder to be honest i, I would have definitely kept it but i think this one i'll have to let go eventually so this will probably be on my grill or something eventually 
Rapper Kai, the saga continues. And this is like, there's like a couple Mount Rushmore's of rapper jackets. There's the Dior Puffer, which is here. There's the light up Montclair Palm Angels, which would stomp this to death. That's probably like Megatron of, of, of sorts. May, who else are we putting in there? The Moncleasy, how could we forget? Um, do we put one more? The, the Mount Rushmore is four, right? I, I'm, I'm tweaking, I, don't, I have no idea. But uh, what, what do we put at the last one? <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, we'll, we'll put a, a Nike Tech jacket. We'll just call it a jacket, even though it's a hoodie, whatever. We, we got one of them. One of the, the Mount Rushmore of rapper jackets, the Dior Puffer. <laughs> the Dior Oblique Puffer. I just got an opportunity to snag this at a crazy steal. Um, shout out to, you know, who you are. And I just thought it was a great opportunity because in Canada, there's not, there's a lot of moments where you're put in a setting where you have to wear a jacket for function over fashion. And a lot of the time that ends up making you sacrifice a fit and there's a lot of jackets that i have for function that aren't like super stylish they're just like meant for what it is like the arcteryx ones or whatever but the only other styly functional jacket that i have is the rick one and it's also very big so there's wind that could get in there or whatever i didn't have another one that i could wear out to a nice date or something like that that feels very like posh and this one made me feel that way you know what i mean i also saw it styled pretty well i saw lucky wear this not gonna lie he wore this to the montreal show he actually bought his in montreal um, um, cause I talked to one of the essays at Holtz and they told me that they sold it to him. So part, part inspo, part rationality of like my climate and everything. So it's fun. It's a fun piece. I'm definitely going to have some fun with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed Rapper Kai on to the next pieces. <laughs> So now we have a few footwear pieces. This is something I picked up in a couple videos ago. I didn't, I never showed that I completed the purchase, but I did. This is the Salomon Comme des Garçons sneakers. These are just sick because the platform is so fire. I love this shoe. The moment that I saw this, I didn't know that it came out in men's because if you guys don't know, there's a men's and a women's iteration. I saw the women's one first and that's what made me fall in love with the shoe. And then I found out they made a men's one. I was like, done deal, like sign me up. But I thought I was never gonna be able to get this shoe. So this is gonna be really, really sick with some wider pants, of course, in the summertime when I'm trying to be more on my like uh, techie stuff. Maybe if it's raining or something like that, you know? So this would be my vibe then love a good salomon also don't have any cdg clubs one of my biggest regrets louis always trips me about this by the way he got the calm de garçon foam posits and i was at the time i was like oh my god i don't need those like they're they were getting burnt out on my timeline too by the way let's not forget about that it was just everywhere and i was like you know what do i want to feed into this hype frenzy right now or do i want to keep it pee and i kept it pee and now i regret it like i regret it crazy because it's kind of like a boot and a sneaker at the same time it, it would have been a great shoe to have i do slightly regret it but these are a great makeup for the comme des garçons collabs in that space you know so really fun whoa upside down this one right here we have from martin margella you guys could kind of see the numbers right there and this classic box i haven't had this shoe since like the early stages of my youtube channel if you guys are ogs then you know i had a copper and gum pair of these that my boy harley sold to me like ages ago for a really good price and then that's when i was able to really enjoy them but they were way too small for me so i sold them now i got a pair of my own brand new dead stock wore them for a shoot not too long ago but I never wore them on the ground so you guys i told you i'm loyal you guys are seeing it first these are the margella replica sneakers if you guys don't know the gats are the original to this but i'm sure you guys know because you guys are on a fashion channel and i'm not telling you guys the da vinci code that's just common knowledge <laughs> i never liked the white sambas i find they look very cheap and the materials are whack as well so i knew if i ever wanted to get this profile of a sneaker i wouldn't get that shoe i would get this shoe and this is just gonna last a ton longer and it's just very posh like i could easily wear this and it'll dress up a whole look in the summertime this screams summertime to me and i'm not sure if i want to beat them or baby them but i guess i'll find out in the summertime i feel like with a white shoe like this i know eventually it's going to get cooked anyway so maybe i'll try babying them and then eventually you guys are going to see they'll they'll be gray in a year so <laughs> that's the margella replicas went true to size on those love that the rest i've all I've, I've been getting size large 
I'm, I'm a size large in tops. The, the Dior jacket actually got in a medium, funny enough. All my hoodies have been size large. Pants, I'm a 32, you guys know what that goes like. And, and that's it, on to the next items. All right, so these next few pieces, this was an opportunity that I was just like blown away by. I had never thought that something like this would be able to happen, it, but like by the grace of the higher ups, you know what I mean? And the hard work that we've been putting in on this channel, I've been able to do some really cool partnerships this month. March has been crazy. I've been working my ass off this whole month like it's been one of the toughest months for me so i i'm happy that you guys have been patient with me and just like been supporting the channel it means a whole lot because i wouldn't be able to be in positions like this if it weren't for you guys i just want to say thank you real quick we actually got twizzied up with <laughs> with holt renfrew and i was able to do some content for them on my instagram so if you guys don't follow me on there g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e -E. it's where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics, this and that so that's what you can check out on there if you didn't know now you know did a reel over there uh chefing up some outfits for an event that they had me attend which was really fun i had a great time happy enough out of the three outfits that i chefed up they gave me they gave the boy a little budget to like keep some of the pieces from one of the outfits and then wear it to the event so that's exactly what i did i'm going to show you guys the pieces one by one and the ones that i kept so here you got it the first one is something that is unconventional for the channel i never showed this brand before but also very nostalgic i remember my dad talking about this brand a whole lot growing up this is masoni this shirt and this brand in general has been getting really popular my my homie sam has told me it's been getting popular more in the women's wear space but it's slowly trickling into men's wear as you can see people are starting to buy it well not people brands well stores are starting to buy masoni and make it a forefront brand as you can see holt renfrey has done so and this is going to be an amazing like spring summer shirt like i can't wait to wear this and just like be a boss man this reminds me of like scarface and like some of those scenes he's done back in the day biggie as well like i don't know like tupac like a bunch of vibes like a whole lot of vibes these are super cool sony's a really dope brand it's a lot more out there than the average not something i'd normally go for but i feel like i was able to really style this quite nicely with the outfit i put together for that event and it came together so that's all i that's all i'm caring about that's all i worry about Psh. Come on, man. It fell. I tried to make it not fall, but it fell. Oh, and I took that out of this bag. So huge shout out to Holtz once again. They showed some love and they gave me the big boy bag. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys what's in the big boy bag. We got something that brought me back to my roots of Philadelphia, where I was born. As you guys know, I talk about Philly time to time on this channel and how it stylistically has influenced me to make certain choices and, and references in how I put together outfits. And this one, when I saw it originally, I was like, damn, this piece is so fire, but it's just a little too pricey out of my personal price range for something that I'm going for. And if, if there's like things on the list that I want, this was there for sure, but I was like, there's other things that I'd rather put my money towards first. But then by the grace of the, the hard work we've been putting in, we manifested it and now it's here. We have the pink Balenciaga polo style hoodie. So it's obviously very reminiscent of Ralph Lauren's polo hoodies that he makes. Some people love it, some people hate it. I personally really enjoy it because it reminds me of my roots with Philly. Obviously, if you guys don't know, Polo is like a household brand in Philly. I grew up wearing Polo all my boxers, like tank tops, t-shirts, all of it was guaranteed polo. And that's all because my dad's like conditioning. That's where some of like my brand savviness came from is because of my dad. And then now full circle, we go to a brand that I really enjoy, which is Balenciaga. And they're doing like references to pieces that are from my childhood, which is really cool. So this is very me. I definitely love this a whole lot. And the French Terry is really like clean, unisex at the Balenci right there. Got this in a size three which is a true size large honestly you could get any size it's gonna fit you i just found that three fit me as it was supposed to in comparison to like what the runway photos were showing and everything one gripe i feel like the 22 that's embroidered on the side oh well isn't yeah that was embroidered on the side it should have been embroidered on the back too but that's not for me to say you know what i mean that's me being picky that's me being picky and the last thing from holtz is this big ass box and i'm assuming you guys could probably think of what is in here if you guys follow the gram but this is what we got we have 
the Balenciaga steroid boots. These are huge, but surprisingly very light. They're like a foam material. They're very fun, very playful. I've already gotten a few comments on them saying how they, they find it reminds them of the Miss Chiff boots, if I'm saying that correctly. The red Astro Boy looking ones. Very comical, very like uh, playful time and fashion, ironic fashion. You guys know what these scream and like how Demna's design language is. I, I never, also another piece that I didn't, wasn't at the forefront of something I was going to buy, but through shopping around and styling, this was just something that I thought could be really interesting to style with some of the other pieces I have, especially the wider pants. It just makes everything so over the top and interesting. So something that I think could be really cool in the spring and I've been having fun styling them. So also a lot easier to walk in than I thought, just very difficult on stairs, but everything else is very, very dope. I have, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Very cool. <laughs> All right. So another item from Balenci that we just got in is I haven't showed you guys on the channel that I've been teasing on my social medias. I've been wearing it a whole lot. I, also another piece I got way too excited to not to not not show you guys is this Balenciaga Le Cagoule messenger bag. This takes the Cagoule signature and brings it into a more masculine light, I would say, something that I would wear. I'm a very big bag guy. I love carrying a good bag because I just carry a lot of shit. <laughs> I'm always like moving around with my camera, water bottle, like keys, like a bunch of like, you name it, I'm, I'm moving around with it. So <laughs> I, I definitely got that thing on me. So I always need to have a good bag in here. You already hear some of the stuff that I keep in here. It's like Byredo hand cream. If you guys want a what's in my bag, I haven't done one of those in a while, but we could do that if you need. But yeah, I, I just thought this is really cool. It was gifted to me. So I was just really grateful and thankful for the opportunity. And this is actually really sick because it's supposed to fit an AirPods Pro case, which is just, this is going to be funny. Megs had said, when we look back at this bag, like when I have this in a couple of years, people are going to ask, oh, what is this for? And then we're going to be like, oh, you, you remember the AirPods Pros? It used to fit that. Probably not. Not even gonna be using those anymore. We're gonna be like having microchips to listen our listen to our music. <laughs> but um yeah, really cool bag. Very like if you're into like the cool cool, but you're looking for a masculine iteration of it or just like a larger designer bag to go for, this could be an option. So definitely, definitely check it out if you are interested. I've been wearing it a ton, it's been an essential, and it's gonna be essential for years and years to come. I, I love this bag. I love a good just crossbody bag. I could put everything in and be good to go. This was a pair of shoes that I forgot came my way just because they were like mis mispriced, which is insane. And then I got them for like a crazy steal, like months and months and months ago. This is the Balenciaga sneaker. You guys know this sneaker. This is just like, just like basically reminiscent of an A6, but in the Balenci format, just super chunky, massive, mismatched, deteriorating on the sides. It feels like it's melting. Uh, yeah, a lot of cool like little details on it. Got the numbers on the toe. Shoe size on my toe. It's comment night reference if you guys get that. <laughs> But yeah, I don't have a like a nice all black sneaker that I could wear out on a nice little dinner date or something. If I'm not trying to wear a boot, this could be something that's really nice with some nice slick black trousers or something of the sort. This could just make me wear something a bit more comfy, cozy, but not be like still be elevated, you know? So really enjoy this sneaker. Super, super tough. Uh, and they they messed up by giving the boy a price, a, a price on those because those are going to get bodied, bodied. All right, so these last two pieces are gonna be the final items for this video. Yes, I know it was a long one, forgive me, but I hope you're enjoying and I hope you're having a great day. This is gonna be the items that I picked up in New York when I went to New York a million miles and eternities away. I was probably in November, like I said. I traded a bunch of items that I had in my wardrobe that I just wasn't wearing anymore and I brought it to some New York boutiques that I knew did cash outs. And then I took that and I consolidated and got some stuff that I've always been looking at from like previous collections and stuff. This is a piece that I knew I was gonna be wearing for a very long time. This is the striker boot by Balenciaga. This has been probably my most complimented silhouette that I wear just because people are always say, oh, is that a is that wet? Like just really makes pants and a whole outfit look so elevated and just complete. I love the sole that they use on this thing. It's just so chunky, adds a very good amount of height to an outfit and just the details are just superb. If I could go back, I probably would do 
a different leather, but I like this kind of crinkled leather because it matches my bag <laughs> that I didn't even know I was gonna have at the time, but it just kind of all worked out in the end, uh, which is really cool. So I'm happy to have these. These are super sick. I'm very grateful to have them in my collection. They're just so beautiful. So. And the last piece, this is the Balenciaga track pants by the adidas this is a collaborative effort that they did uh, a while back now it feels like time really flies it's crazy but this is like the moment i seen these i knew right away that i wanted them i just didn't know how i was going to be able to acquire them but what i did is like i sold a bunch of smaller pieces that i wasn't enjoying anymore and then i took that and i got these because i just knew in the summer this was going to be like my baggy raver-esque track pant that i enjoy to wear and i would wear them more just like leisurely on some calm kicking it type of vibe and i just love how they fit they're just so wide just like so beautiful the cut of these is just immaculate i really love how they fit that's like my everything about these so yeah that is everything insane this is probably one of my craziest videos yet i hope you guys and things are starting to fall over in the back as you can see i hope you guys enjoyed that video it was so much fun to make a pain to make Lots of love went into this, as you can see. So make sure to hit a huge thumbs up on this. Like the video, it really helps out a ton with the algorithm, as you guys know. And let me know what your favorite piece was out of this. Clearly, I have a lot of things to integrate into some outfit building in the next couple of months as spring is starting to flourish. And also when I experience other seasons as they come, because there's like a few outerwear pieces and I'm not gonna blab you guys' ears off with that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite piece was in this video and what you guys are looking forward to acquiring moving into spring summer what type of pieces are you guys looking for in your wardrobes that you're missing or whatever i would love to know i love speaking that conversation with you guys in the comment section below that's about it make sure to go follow the boy on instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e's where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that so that's what you can check out on there follow the boy on tiktok of course that will be in the description below swage all one word and everything else will be in the description you guys know the vibe so also huge thanks to farfetch for making this video possible without them i don't know who i'll be you know what i mean so i really appreciate them once again love make sure you go take advantage of that discount code thank you guys for stopping by the channel once again i really appreciate it and i hope to see you guys on the next one peace <laughs>